Hello, my name is Kyle Dragseth. I'm with the NDSU Wilson Research Extension Center. I've been employed here for 24 years. Uh, I have the title of a farm manager and seed stock manager. Uh, I'm blessed with uh, the job of being able to work with the crops every day and the different varieties. Uh, my goal here is pure seed production of all the NDSU release, new releases, uh, along with uh, the other research centers like uh, Minot and uh, Carrington and Castleton and uh, Langdon. They also have pure seed production. Uh, this year uh, we got 1150 seven acres of pure seed production, uh, 11 different crops and 23 different varieties. Uh, we have uh, peas, yellow peas, green peas, uh, two different lentils, uh, two durums, four spring wheats, two winter wheats, three safflowers, uh, two chickpeas. Uh, amongst some varieties, uh, we have an NDSU release. It would be the first uh, chickpea release. Uh, it's a good yielding, uh, large size, seed size. Uh, seems to have pretty fair acicata tolerance and, and yet yield, good yield. It's a nice bright white uh, chickpea. So we're pretty excited about that one. And then we also have the first uh, NDSU yellow pea release, which is ND Dawn. Uh, um, a good yielder, stands really well, uh, uh, has, has, you know, above average protein. And then as far as the spring wheats, uh, we're growing uh, ND Vitpro and ND Froberg, which will be a new release. It'll be going out the spring of 2021. Uh, seems to have the yield, good disease package, uh, above average protein, uh, good standability. And uh, uh, as far as uh, durums, we're increasing the ND Rivlin durum, which we've increased now for a couple years. That seems to be the best durum available as far as a lot of attributes. Uh, it's a low cadmium variety. Uh, it has uh, good standability, good yield, uh, good scab rating, uh, beautiful quality. Uh, and then we also are increasing a variety. We did pull out of Canada through the CCAM program. That's uh, called Spitfire. Uh, we're kind of excited to see how that one compares. It's seated side by side with the ND Rivlin on a pivot, seated within two days of each other. So. That would be kind of an exciting test. Uh, we have two different NDSU Roundup Ready soybeans on increase. Uh, there's a new one they're contemplating releasing for the spring of uh, 2021. It's real similar to the 17009. It might be a little earlier maturity and it also has uh, better iron deficiency tolerance where we've noticed uh, the 17009 scores a little low in that uh, category. Uh, we have some winter wheats, we have an experimental, and then we also have a winter wheat called Ray that came out of Montana State, which is a real interesting variety. It uh, is onless and it's uh, fairly leafy, it has a real wide uh, flag leaf. And we're looking at that one for not only grain production, because it yields consistently with the rest of the cultivars, uh, but it, it tons out really well. So you can go two directions with that, either combine it or put it up for hay. And then we also have uh, barley. We pulled down out of Canada called CDC Maverick, which, uh, is kind of a dual purpose uh, barley also. It has extremely high test weight and then also very high tonnage. Uh, and then we have two different oats. We have a NDSU oat called Paul, which is what they call a naked variety. 
it's hullless and uh, you can go two directions with that too. You can either combine it for feed and the growth is really high in oil. It makes uh, excellent livestock feed. And then uh, we also have another variety that come out of Canada, CDC Haymaker. And that one's exclusively for forage production. Uh, yeah, one thing we have to really be excited about is a new seed cleaning facility that we're, construction will be starting any time. Uh, we'll be able to increase our capacity from uh, 50 bushels an hour up to 250 bushels an hour. And then we'll have the newest, greatest seed cleaning equipment. And then we'll also have a color sorter. And that color sorter has a lot of technology. It has four cameras per shoot. Two cameras will be infrared cameras and two cameras will be multi-vision cameras. So this color sorter will be able to uh, sort by shape, color, and also with infrared, uh, be able to pick out cracks and all different types of impurities. Uh, you know, we in the past, uh, the Durham, you know, occasionally you'll fight springweed in your Durham. And that's why I went with this technology with the infrared. They are saying I can, you know, sort springweed out of Durham easy. So that'd be a big attribute. And, uh, you know, uh, pure seed, production starts with a seed cleaning facility that can handle it, you know, that's competitive with all the other cleaning facilities. Our existing facility was built in 1956, so we're moving uh, many years ahead, which uh, will be awesome. And then another thing I'd like to say is just all the, uh, it's amazing all the support we've got with the seed facility. The counties and cities have been just just awesome you know everybody is itching for a egg uh, something to back that was egg related and this was the project at the right time uh, you know Williams County McKinsey County Montreal County Divide County just everybody just uh, really stepped up to the plate you know and they see the the need for agriculture you know and to be progressive and I guess uh, my goal is to get the best varieties uh, for this region, regardless uh, if they're NDSU varieties or Montana State varieties or they come out of Canada, uh, to stay progressive and, and have them available to our producers. Uh, thank you very much for your time. Mm -hmm.